everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! And we are here with Lily who is hiding in a bush and I have no idea where Tate has just run off to. But we are here in the cougar exhibit and I'm so excited, I am so excited to show you guys what we've worked on while you were away. Oh, it's looking awesome, it's looking awesome, ta-da! Check it out! So that bridge that we were starting to construct, oh there's Tate, he's playing with Adelaide. Were you chasing that slug, Tate? Were you chasing that little slug? Oh, he's such a silly boy. But we are working on this stone bridge, and I am very happy with it, and I'm very happy with how the cougar exhibit is slowly taking shape again. It was so small. Now that we've made it bigger, it just hits me what a tiny little exhibit this was. I mean, yeah, it had some room to, like, pace back and forth, and there's this little- whoops. For those of you who don't know- here, I'm gonna clear this away. There's like this little cave with some uh, some nice straw and hay on the bottom where, you know, our cougars could come in, relax, kind of have their own little cave to hide out in and then go out into the world and stalk and sniff and check out Adelaide. And there's another little cave over here that they could climb in. It used to have some mushrooms. It doesn't have any mushrooms in it right now. So there's lots of room for the animals to have a sense of privacy and, you know, not being... Tate, what are you doing? Tate, you're such a goofball. <laughs> and not being stared at by the zoo visitors, but we didn't really have a lot of room for her to just stretch her legs And now Tate be careful, baby. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Have some raw pork chop you guys Oh my goodness gracious But now there's room where she can actually stretch her legs and look we have surrounded the entire exhibit with this stone too. the stone that has the vines and a little bit of moss growing on top of it So it forms kind of this natural barricade so that she's not gonna wiggle out I keep assuming she 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 I keep thinking it's gonna be a female cougar we find um, I might need to destroy the extra vines, but I don't think she'll be able to climb out on them. We'll have to see. Again, I keep assuming it's going to be a female. But let's go up, and there's those delicious little radishes. In fact, oh, I'm so tempted to pick them. Let's go up, and we're actually going to check what's inside our planting boxes to see what we can decorate on the inside of the exhibit. Oh, but first, I guess I should show you guys the top, the top of the stone, the little stone bridge we made. All right, so we also surrounded the exhibit in more of these amazing planks. For those of you guys who are wondering where these fences are from, they are part of the module flower pot mod, so you can find them there. And we've now extended it all the way over here, wraps up and around to here. And then I don't know what we're going to do back here yet. I think we're going to have like our little beehive area down here. We'll probably set that up, maybe raise the ground up at least one level first then have it come back down over here and there's this side of the little natural barricade we might even make it so guests can come and walk up along the edges here to peer into the cougars exhibit i think that would be pretty fun what do you guys think what do you guys think lillian tate huh today we're gonna go on our camping trip are you guys excited are you guys excited i'm excited ah oh, but that is what we're gonna do for the inside and then here's the bridge itself and I actually think it turned out really nice I shrunk it down by one on either side and then I put it was actually really easy we just used the prisms and the slopes the carpenters prisms and slopes and we put the stone and vines and seeds to make the moss careful there Lily careful there come this way come this way oh look at that beautiful moth oh dear like a moth to flame mm. But yes, so I think it looks really nice. So now you can walk down, walk across this stone bridge, glance down to see if Myla is hanging. Well, I keep saying Myla. She passed away from old age, you guys. I guess we're gonna have Myla the second at this rate. But to see if the cougar is over here, you can just peek over. It's not nearly as hard to see as it was when it was like this, because these kind of block you and you couldn't really see down there very well. Jeez, you two, be careful. You're gonna fall into the exhibit. But now you can kind of peek on this side, peek on this side, look under you, so you've got much better visibility of the cougar. So that will hopefully help with educational efforts. Tate? <laughs> He's just living on the edge today, quite literally. But, so that's, that's how that's all set up. So I think we'll glance really quickly inside of our chest. Boink, boink, boink. Let's see, that's a bunch of dirt. Like, we've got some vines, um, I think that's what we might do today while we're out and about. Oh, these aluminiums, actually, and dotted blazing stars, and here's a clover patch. Today, while we are out on our camping trip for our Saturday special, we will probably spend a little bit of time with Lily and Tate gathering some plants for putting in the exhibit. That's a desert plant. Maybe some daisies? 
We'll see what the daisies look like in there. Dandelion? Why not? Oh. Seriously, bees? Every time. Every time I try to get into my plant chest over here, the bees show up. Start harassing me trying to get to our plants. Uh, like the Nymseas. Ooh, we've got more lavender. We could put some lavender in there. That would be kind of nice. Streamside bluebells would be beautiful. We could try hiding some of the wood bluets in there. Ooh, some maiden's wart ferns. Those might be nice in there. Some medium grass. You know, just kind of decorating the exhibit because that's what brings it to life. We could put some alpine bluebells in there. All right, let's pop back down and plunk these flowers around so we can get an idea for what works well in here and what doesn't. Yeah, the dotted blazing stars I think will work very well in here. Same with the clover patches. Oh, hello, Lily girl. You just popped up out of the blue. Maybe make a nice little collection of dotted blazing stars over here. Can I put the little wood bluet down here? Hey, little wood bluet. You wanna hide behind the dotted blazing stars? I wonder if it'll stay there. That'd be kind of cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I think I'm in love with these wood bluets. Keeper Adelaide, I think, actually trades them to you. She does, and she does the bl dotted blazing stars, too. So we'll have to keep an eye on those guys, see if they stay or not. I just love going to walk in the temperate forest aviary. Be sure to stop by there, too. Ethan is awesome to talk to about birds. Thank you, Keeper Adelaide. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, and look at all the little snails. They're like, eat, don't eat us. Hiding in their little spots. Yeah, I think daisies are okay down here. Just maybe a few of them kind of sprinkled around. Put some more dotted blazing stars out. Let's see. Maybe like that. Some aluminiums. Aluminiums. They sound so pretty. Maybe one over here. Let's see. Get some of the delphiniums down. Little corner with delphiniums. Uh, oh, the nymphsias. See, it's really tossing down these beautiful plants. The plant mega plant plants that really bring the exhibits to life every time. It always amazes me. Let's see, put one there. Put one here. No, I want it right here. Right there. Yes, very specific. That little grub is just jumping around. Let's see, put, I want two up here. One here and one here. There we go. I want a maiden hair fern back there. And one right here. Mm-hmm. Watch out, little girl. Let's see, we'll put one. Let's see, we'll put some of the ferns over here. Whoops! No, Woodland blew it. Go back down. You want to be there. Don't worry. I'm sorry I upset you. One right there. Oh, this Woodland blew it popped up. Sometimes they do that. Whoa! There's three of them now? I guess we'll put it down here. <laughs> oh, it popped up too. Alright, well, we'll put them in here then. There you go, guys. Now it's dark. Maybe they'll be happier in there. Did those really multiply? Or did I just pick up all of them at once? Yeah, I just picked up all of them at once because they, they didn't survive. It was too sunny out here for them. That happens sometimes. And the streamside bluebells, I actually want to put down over here. Like next to the stream. Is there some grass? Yeah, there's some grass up here. Eh, water, water, help, help. I'm so excited, we're gonna catch a cougar today. And look at that. Just a few little plants sprinkled down and already we are bringing the exhibit to life. Tate, I am not surprised you're trying to swim up the waterfall. That is such a you thing to do, my boy. I'll put Nymphsia right there. We've got, actually, let's put the dandelion there. Let's see, dandelion. Dandelion doesn't wanna go there. It'll go there though. And how about one right there. Ooh, and the cute little one right there. Oops, nope, I don't want you to go there. I want you to go right here. And Nymphsia, you go here. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Ah, oh, plants make everything better. They just totally do. And I want to get some roots to put along the bottom of there. Do I have any roots on me? Let's check. No, but I've got a lot of seeds. A lot, a lot, a lot of seeds. Um, we actually will throw these into the seed sorting shed before we leave on our little adventure. And I guess I need to go pick up some food. Lily, take, can you actually eat this dino steak? Like, is this, oh my gosh, you can. Here you go, Lily. This is the very, very, very expensive gourmet dino steak that I have purchased for our dogs since I thought that you could get uh, some genetic information from it, but you no longer can. That's been nerfed, AKA removed from the mod. So I felt rather silly. Uh, we're not putting sting nettle out, no way, Jose, but that's some seeds we can put in. And let's sort our pack. Let's sort our pack and get ready. Let's go to the kitchen. 
Let's get a good night snoozes in our bed. Then we're going to go sort our backpack. Hello, chicken. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. That bridge is just gorgeous now. I am so excited about this. But yes, we are going to go sort our pack out. We are going to go make some food for the journey. Lily, Tate, do be careful. Are you okay, Tate? Where's your sister? Lily? Lily, is that dinosaur food not agreeing with you? Lily, come. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have... Okay, are you guys okay? Did your tummies not agree with being fed dino food? Well, I should say dinos. Mm, maybe I should have rethought of that. I was thinking gourmet delicious food for the dogs, but it appears... Dang it, Bunnerella! Come here. I could have sworn we solved this bunny escaping issue, but some people are saying that they just escape sometimes over normal fences. If that's the case... There seem to be less bunnies than usual in here. No? There's already another Bunnerella, too, so we're adding in more clones. I really need to start adopting these guys out to you guys. <laughs> if you're interested in adopting a bunny, let me know. Alright, so let's go to the siege sorting shed, run under Big Bigfoot's tail. Apparently we're going the long way around. It amuses me how after all this time I still need to set up some basic, basic paths in some areas. Hello, Tate! You knew exactly where we were going! Good boy! Yeah, we're gonna sort these in here. Let's double check to make sure we don't have any other seeds to put in there. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No. Um, I could definitely put these away, though. These things. Brown stained clay. So some, do we have room for these axes? I guess we could put, like, a stone axe in the, in the sorting shed. Why not? And then, oh, Tate, you startled me. I knew you were there, but somehow I thought you were, like, some monster, and I was just about bonked you on the head, Tate. All right, and I think we've just got a bunch of random stuff in here. Good grief. Meow. I hear the cats. That's so cute. Uh, we've got an ostrich egg, too. I still feel so bad about that. That was an accident. All right, well, let's put this little hoe up here, too, because there's room. All right, Tate, come on. Come on, Tate. How's our bee doing? Oh, she is a trooper. Look at this queen bee go. All right, Tate, come on. Come on. Tate, Tate, come on. Where's your sister? Tate! Tate! <laughs> Don't stare at me like that from inside the shed. Come! Come! There, good boy. And there's Lily out of the blue. Oh my goodness, you two are so silly sometimes. Alright, let's go inside, guys. We're gonna make some food. We're gonna make some food for the camping trip. Come on! Come on! There we go. Alright, sit. Sit. Good job. And, all right, so we need to make some food to take on the camping trip. I'm going to try to keep it simple. I'm thinking some grilled mushrooms for sure. I love grilled mushrooms. What else can we do with, do I have more mushrooms? Can I make stuffed mushrooms? Ooh, grilled mushrooms. Um, let's see. Stuffed mushrooms. Oh, we would just need a little bit of cheese, some toast. I think we don't have any cheese though because we're still planning on doing... <gasps> Ooh, vegetable soup sounds so good! Let's make some vegetable soup. Okay, let's see. Gotta get some carrots. Gotta get some space in our inventory. Good grief. Good grief. Gotta get some potatoes. Gotta get some mushrooms. And we have stock. I'm pretty sure we have stock. Pretty sure we have more mushrooms, too. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, we put our mushrooms inside this chest. Next to where Artemis is. Put some there. And then let's see. What do we need again? Just need to put all this in a pot with some stock. Delicious, delicious. This is for mom, Lily and Tate, not for you guys. And let's whip out some stock. There we go. Mmm, I love vegetable soup, especially with mushrooms. I adore mushrooms. So let's pop these in here. Throw all this in here. And vegetable soup! A lot of it, too. Sweet. Alright, wash the pot. Wash, 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 wash. And throw it up there. There we go. Put the stock away. Probably put half the vegetable soup away because we probably don't need all that. And we'll take like a couple things at toast because that sounds delicious. Also, one carrot cake. Who knows how long this adventure will last. Put this bread away. Um, do we have room in here for more? Yes, more honey. Put these wax combs away. All right, hang on, Liliente. I know, mom's being silly. Mom's being a silly goose. Um, let's see, put away the cactus fruit. I'm not sure if the dino 
steak agrees with the dog. So I'm actually going to put it away in the weird food chest, this chest, just because I don't know if the puppies, their tummies agree with it or not. And we're going to have some of this delicious vegetable soup. All right, Lady Tate, you guys stay right here. I'm going to dump my backpack, literally turn it upside down and just dump everything in it into the sorting chest, the sorting chest of doom. <laughs> Because we have an adventure to go on! Oh, hello, Pigment Fern! I hear you grunting down there. Alright, coin purse, you're gonna hang out in here for now. Alright, and then we've got, let's see, some rotten flesh and some river whitefish for the dogs and some pig ears. So that's actually important to keep with us so we can keep the animals fed. But what kind of junk do we have kicking around? Dandelion puff? The mystery safari nets. Let's actually put these away. Because they're gonna be, they're gonna be a really cool side quest. I can't wait to see what's in there. Apparently they hold random mobs. I just don't know what kind of random mobs. So those go down there. This goes in here too. Little dandelion puff. Even though I'm so tempted just to like blow on it. I love dandelion puffs. Alright, and then let's just go ahead. Cobble, 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 cobble. Cool, cool, cool. Dirt, dirt, dirt. All of you. All of you. I don't care. Come on, come on. Aw, oh, man. I should have sorted that a little better. But we're just going to get all of this out and sort it later. Oh, this is so hard for me. I'm normally such a neat freak, and it's like, no, I know where that goes. I know where that goes, too. Just give me a second. I can put them away. And it's like, no, Siri, you don't have the time. You don't have the time. Just put them in here and sort them later. Sort them later. All right, so let's see. Plums, apples. Do I want it? No, 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 no. I've, brought, I've got enough food for myself. I am even bringing carrot cake. All right, and then let's put these away. And we'll have fun sorting all of this another time because some people love sorting they just do we are almost out of an axe though so let's pick up a new axe while we're in here an iron one we don't really need any fancy axes maybe let's grab a steel axe why not all right so we have a backup axe in case that one breaks i'm going to break my rule of just throwing everything away because i know where that bone goes and empty backpack empty backpack oh that's so much easier when you just dump everything all right, and let's go ahead. Do we have shears ready? We do. We have got lots and lots of shears. So let's start with these steel shears. Put this away. Get out a couple loose safari nets just in case we come across any interesting critters. We've got the dog food. Got the siri food. Gonna keep the toast out. We'll eat the carrot cake. When, uh, we'll find like some really pretty place to sit down and eat the carrot cake. That'll be fun. All right, let's get the weapons. Put on the armor. Get these out. And I think we're good to go. Let's get out the shears, too. All right, and we're going to eat the toast next. There. All right. Okay, Nightlock. I'm sorry. There's a... Right behind the ears. I know. Oops. <gasps> Nightlock, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Here. You can have the river whitefish. I'm so sorry. I, I rubbed too hard. I rubbed too hard and made him mad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nightlock. I did not mean to do that. Oh, my goodness. I love you too. Oh, oh, I just about jumped out of my skin. I'm sorry. You've got to be more gentle with the kitties. I'm used to playing with my puppies. I'm sorry, Nightlock. Oh my goodness. Do you forgive me? I think he does. Oh my gosh. Oh, my little heart. Oh, I gotta lean against the table for a second. I don't react well to accidentally hurting animals or, or purposely. I, you know, that's horrible, you know. Oh, gracious. Okay, well, enough of that. I'm so sorry, Captain Kaz, Major Calhoun, as usual. Bow to you. Please take care of the place. And it's a perfect time to go out. What the heck are you doing here? Were you, were you admiring the deer, sir? Well, I must tell you that night hours are over. Oh, and I need to go check on my boys then. What do you think you're doing here? At least that gave me something to feed to my pups. Speaking of which, Lily, Tate, come on. Let's go check on Junior and JJ before we get going because I hear zombies. Lily, Tate, come. Oops. Ah, Fridge. 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 I don't even know what I'm saying. Come on. If I'm hearing zombies, what does that mean for my boys? Come on, you two. Teleport to me. We've got to check on Junior and JJ. No death alerts popping up on my little cell phone down here. Right? Right? I didn't I didn't miss them like dying, did I? No. Junior! Oh my gosh! Living on the edge here! Are you okay? Boulder, are you keeping them safe? Senior, are you keeping them safe? Junior and JJ are okay. Oh, thank goodness. You, did that goat, that goat just ate whatever. Get away, get away, get away. 
Okay, you know what, guys? The goats are going in some freaking pens because they just ate the iron and or diamonds that Junior and JJ threw down for Tate and Lily. So, you know what? We're gonna make a freaking goat pen. And they, they apparently have this new raven. I, this raven is stuck around for several days now. So if you guys have a name for this raven, well, Junior and JJ now have a raven. But all right, Lily, Tate, are you two ready? Are you two ready? Here's some zombie jerky to get the morning started. I know, I'm excited too, Tate. I'm excited too. It's going to be so fun. And we're going to head out. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Ka oh, indeed, Raven. Ka oh, indeed. But we're headed out, guys. We are now heading out. We are going on the big adventure. And it's time to go see if we can find a cougar. I'm so excited. And we're going to go on foot. So Lily and Tate can come with us this time. Senior, you are a good old boy. You're too tired for this. So you stay here with Boulder, Junior, and JJ. Stay, son. I mean it, son. All right, come on, Lily Tate. We are so putting those goats up. They freaking ate whatever Junior or JJ offered to us. And it could have been a diamond. My boys were being generous and the goats just ruined it. But all right, off we go. Onwards to adventure. We are going to populate this cougar exhibit with a cougar. But we need to go find a cougar to put in said exhibit. Adelaide? She's like, did someone say my name? Adelaide, don't you worry. You haven't had a proper cougar to join you in your cougar exhibit for ages now. And we're going to go find one. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, what does a cougar look like? It basically looks like a light-skinned lioness from the Mo Creatures mod. But we always call them cougars because, you know, a little bit of creative wiggling, Lily and Tate. You guys coming? It's our adventure day together. Are you so excited? Are you so excited? It is our adventure day. Yay! Adventure day together with our pup pups. Oh wow, look at Grandma Apple Tree. Oh, that reminds me, we've got so many new trees to show you guys. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of new trees that I have been planting that I have forgotten to show you guys. It'll be fun when I finally get a chance to. Grandma Apple planted by Haley. So exciting. All right, so where should we find a cougar? I'm thinking we're gonna look in the scrublands kind of behind Kaffer's place. So that's kind of where we're headed. Watch out. There's the evil of the poison ivy. Got to keep the dogs. There they are. Got to keep the pup pups away from there. And let's keep our eyes peeled for anything we can add to the cougar exhibit as decorative pieces. More poison ivy. We'll sidestep it. There's an int. Look, you can see there is evidence of an int. There the int is. See, this is int evidence right here. Ooh, we can put this in the cougar exhibit. A twig. I have a whole twig. No! Lily Tate, are you okay? Was that the int? Can the int get poison ivied? Interesting. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wow. Wow. You're pretty cool. All right. Lily Tate, we're going to very carefully walk across the bridge, okay? Oh, good. They both made it. Good. All right. The pup pups are on it. <gasps> oh, look at these wild, wild walnuts. I want some wild walnuts. Ooh, and look at the bushes. These bushes are actually really great decorative pieces. They can be a little hard to come across. Wow like hiding behind this walnut tree. Oh, lucky you, Bush. Lucky you. I can't get you because the walnut's in the way. All right. I'm going to grab some of these butterfly bushes. Ooh, and there's some more over here. Nice. Pardon me. Walnut tree. Dang it, walnut. Dang it, walnut. Oh, well, at least we're going to get some fresh walnuts. There we go. Now I can get the bushes. Come here. Come here, little bushes. I'm going to decorate you around my zoo. Decorate you around my zoo. All right, there we go. Lots of awesome walnuts. And we are actually already in unexplored territory. I've never been, like, Kaffir's house is just right over there. But I've never been quite this direction before. Look at all the wild carrots. Oh, the bun buns in our bunny exhibit would love to have more wild carrots. That's fantastic. And I heard a snake. I can't see where the snake is. Oh, there's another ant here. My goodness, there's two ants. There's an ant in a hole with the snake. Two snakes. This is a snake ant. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many snakes down there. And this ant is standing in a snake pit with another ant nearby. I think it's happy there. That's interesting. Ant pint snake. Huh. Well, I'll remember you're there, my friend. All right, but we're not any closer to finding a cougar over here. So we will continue on. I think we've only been out this way once before with sunflower. Like purposely out this way. Back off! I hear goats. Back off, you little munchers. Eating all the yummy, yummy stuff. I have a love-hate relationship with goats. 
They eat all my things. Alright, I don't see them though. Wow, this is pretty. Look at the trees! I love these trees! And there's wildflowers here. Beautiful. Am I picking them up? Good, I am. Hang on, Lily Tate. Is this the little pit with the goats? It is the pit with the goats. <laughs> we have been here before. I recall that pit with the goats. Alright, but we'll walk past them. And I'm hoping out in these open scrublands, I see a horse. But I'm hoping we'll find our cougar out here. If not, we'll probably have to head more towards the mountains of over there. Oh, great. Well, this is a wonderful day. Lily Tate, we appear we appear to be being rained on. Watch out, Lily Tate! It's seeing now! Oh, I'm glad I saw that just in time. Alright, well, we're gonna smell like wet dog and wet Siri by the time this is over, but let's go ahead and keep moving, guys. Do -do -do, gather up some wild grapes. Nom nom nom. There's a little mouse! Oh, so cute! So cute. So there's mice here. This is kind of like an ecological survey in a way, too. Because we've not really looked at what, what's over here yet. Let's see. What else is out here? Lots of wildflowers. They're very lovely. I think they would be good to add around. Uh, oh, there's a polar bear. Let's go this way. <laughs> at least we know there's apex predators here. So there's a polar bear. Lily Tate, come on. Oh, come on, Tilly! To late? Come on, to late! Lily Tate? Oh my gosh, it's chasing us. Okay, come on, Lily and Tate. Come on, guys. We want to give that polar bear a nice wide berth. And I heard, oh, there's a white tiger. So that might be our mystery lost white tiger, actually. Oh, geez, Louise, and I'm walking in stinging nettle. Hang on, guys! This is getting a little more exciting than Mom anticipated. Whew. All right, let's stand under the tree for a second, my loves, and survey. I think this is the lost white... The lost white tiger that everyone's been dying for us to find. So I'm going to come over. It's all grown up now. Gotcha. It's our white tiger. Da -da -da -da. That is one of the animals we lost ages ago. And people have been begging for us to find it, Lily and Tate. And it seems like we just did. Minding its own beeswax along this absolutely amazing biome. It looks like there's mammoths over here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. More snow leopards. All right. Looks like we've got some nutmegs. So we're finding some big cats. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Maybe maybe our cougar is out here. My gosh, it's so wet. At least we've got more berries. We can add these berry bushes to our berry bakery yard. Ooh, we could put some down where the cougar goes, actually. That would be a really nice decorative piece. Very, very nice. Very nice back the piece. Let me get this. Oh, I hear the sheep. The sheep, the goats. I'm always like, no, back off goats. This is my stuff. All right. How goes our exploration? So a lot of goats. Is that... Is, oh, look, you can almost... The very vague outline. You see that way over there? That is the outline of the Tree of Illumination. I had no idea you could see it so clearly from so far away. All right, one second, Lily. I'm going to throw all this stuff into here, including our big cat. How exciting. Ma! Ma, indeed. Um, the wildflowers will keep because I have a feeling we'll collect more of those. All right. And let us continue exploring. We are on the hunt for a cougar. Ooh, geraniums. Come here, geraniums. And seven juveners. Nice. Oh, dang it. Geraniums aren't snackable. Drat, we'll throw that out. All right, I hear more big cats, but I think it's mostly, yes, it's mostly snow leopards and a cave. Oh, that reminds me, we don't actually have out um, any torches. So, oh wait, I've got a bunch right here. There we go. So we've got a bunch of snow leopards over here, but no cougar. So I wonder, oh, there's a very curious fox sniffing Tate's tail though. That's kind of hilarious. Oh my goodness! Is somebody eating that goat or did that goat walk on something poisonous? Oh, I think that goat just jumped out of that little pond right there. Hmm, interesting. But alright, Lily Tate, let's walk around the snow leopards and let's- Oh, dang it! Nope! Goat walked on some stinging nettles, not in the pond. And the goat just ate the stinging nettle. There, have the rice seed too, you greedy little thing. Um, and Lily Tate, let's go through the pond, actually. An unconventional method of travel, I know. 
But it's that or this, the evil... See, they jumped in the evil sewer pond. You guys! No, they walked on that stinging nettle. Never mind. I'm sorry, babies. Here, let's snooze. Let's see if we can snooze under this tree, out of the rain, and pass the morning. Come here. Come here, Tate. You want to climb in bed? You can come snuggle with me, you stinky wet dog who just climbed in sewage water. There we go. Much better. All right. Let's pick... Hey. Dang it, guys. <laughs> they just picked my bed up for me, at least. Yay! And now the rain's gone, so that'll be easier to adventure with. All right, so we've got some alpine bluebells. Eh, there we go. Oh, and a cute bunny! Look at the little bun bun! Aww, you're so cute. Sitting here by the wildflowers. I won't take your wildflowers, little bunny. All right, and then what do we have up here? A baby boar, which would be adorable to add to our safari zone, actually, and a turkey. And then we've got, mm, looks like another boar, and a horse, pepper clone, and there's a deer. Whoop! What's going on? What's happening? Lily! Lily! Oh, Lily! I'm sorry, baby. Did you find more poison stuff? Here, have a pig ear. Tate, have a pig ear. Might have to get you some more food. Those boars might be turned into Lily and Tate food if I'm not able to find enough. Oh dear. Um, gather up more wildflowers. So, so far, no cougar. I could have sworn that we'd run into some. There's a lot of snow leopards, surprisingly. What biome are we in? In the heathland. So, a lot of snow leopards. I hear some snakes. There's some cute bunnies. More cute bunnies. Hmm. There's some deer. Ouch. And there's some stinging nettle. Toss that out before my dogs get hurt. Uh, let's get some nummy vegetable soup. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm, so filling, so delicious. I love veggie soup. And we continue on gathering up plants as we go. Beautiful carnations and things like that. Uh, there's another biome over there. Let's just keep going. I think we've flown out this far once with sunflower before. But otherwise, it's just kind of fun to explore again. Get our feet under ourselves, not walk in the tar pits. Lily, Tate! Good job. Good job not walking in the tar pits. Good dogs. Come on. Come on. There's my good puppies. It's been so long since we've been out and about. Oh, look at those ints. Yeah, I think we came out this way with Sunflower when we were trying to find some ints to catch. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, stinging nettle. Back off. Don't hurt anyone. Oh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Interesting. Oh, there's a mushroom way over there. I am so tempted. And it looks like there's an interesting tree over there, actually. Huh. What's down here? <gasps> a duck! I see a duck duck. Oh, good good job pointing at the duck, Tate. Good job pointing. He's such a good puppy. All right, let's run over here. Welcome, duck. You're going to be a lake duck now. Get in. Get in. There we go. Got a new duck. We have a new lake duck. Uh-oh, Lily. Oh, I thought I heard someone crying. Okay, dogs are okay. This is a feat of ingenuity. This daisy is floating. We're going to gather up these roots. Come here, roots. going to use you to decorate my cougar exhibit. I sure am. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Falling down that little hole. Hang on, Lily Tate. I'm coming. Mom's coming. Dang! This cougar is proving far more elusive than I thought she would be. I keep thinking it's going to be a girl, too. I don't know why. But let's try going in this forest, and if we don't find anything in here, we might try the other forest across the way. Hello, little dear. I remember you guys, actually. Yeah, I was here once with Sunflower. Oh, interesting. Anything interesting down here? Ooh, there is. There's a little skeleton just bobbing around in the water down there. Tate, be careful. Come on, Tate. Come on, Lily. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ooh, there's a really cool little cave thing over there. Let's go look closer. All right, little snake. Saw the snake. There's a little pond right here. What's going on down here? My curiosity is risen. Someone been here? It's like a perfect tunnel. No, I don't think anyone's been here. Wow! Wow! Look at this pond! So cool! There's some floating eelgrass and cattails. That means it's brand new. 
Just generated. What the heck is that? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, come here, plants. I got you. All right. Lily Tate, let's swim across. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. Okay, nothing, nothing that I see. No animals spawning in the water. Might be a little bit of a barren lake. See anything down there? No. I didn't bring my scuba gear either, so I didn't expect this to be an adventure that involved a lot of swimming, and yet here we are. All right, and we're gonna swim this way, and hopefully there's a there's a mole hanging out in that tree right there. What's this? Some geishal seeds. There's some more reeds. There's some floating seeds. Then we pop up. Hmm. Hmm. There's a dove. Hey, Lily Tate. They're doing very good. Hello, little dove. Give me just a second. Oh, no. Come back. Come back, little dove. Tate, are you okay? We've got to catch that dove for, for the good luck of the village. Eh? 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 Come here. Come here. Come here. No, come back. Lily Tate, come on! We've got to catch this dove! Where'd it go? The more doves that the Village of Light has, the luckier it is! Dang it! I must have just missed it. Barely missed it. Oh, here are these plants! Ooh, wow! This is a lot of that polished stone. Now, what the heck is this? We're in a boreal forest. Oh, I hear the dove again. No, we don't want the noisy thing. We want the dove. Is that the dove? I see it! Okay, hang on. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <sighs> got it. All right, so now we've got a dove for the Village of Light. We've got a white tiger for our bamboo forest. And we've got a duck for our awesome little, or a duck for our awesome little lake. So we are now in a boreal forest. Interesting. And I'm hoping we'll find a cougar. Now that we're thinking about it, I can't recall where we have seen any before. So, hmm, hmm, I'm kind of curious about these trees too. I want to cut one of these trees down. Well, first let's take a sample of the leaves and see what the leaves say they are. Let's see. The leaves say that they are yellow autumn leaves. Interesting. So what do you do when you are cut down, tree? Hmm, normal birch wood and no saplings. Interesting. Interesting. So don't cut those down if we want to keep the cool yellow trees. Noted. All right, Lily Tate, let us continue. I mean, there's a beautiful giant world out here full of plants and life and just all sorts of amazing things. Let's look over at this forest over here, like that way. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It did drop like an autumn sapling. We now have a new sapling, Lily and Tate. What a great day. What a great day. Come on, pup ups. Come on. We're gonna go, ooh, and more, more of these. Don't mind if I do. Collect some more of my favorite maiden wart spleen ferns. And what is that? <gasps> it's a little baby cheetah. It's a little baby cheetah drowning in the water. We've got this, guys. We've got this. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready? Oh, to the rescue. Come here, come here. I've got you, I've got you. Oh my gosh. We just rescued a drowning baby cheetah. What a day! And oh my gosh, look at how beautiful all of these plants are growing up this... <gasps> Lily, we just got a baby cheetah. That's very exciting. It was just drowning in this little lake. I wonder what happened. Tate, sniff around. See if there's a mom in the area. Well, that's two unexpected big cat finds, even though we're not quite finding what we're looking for. All right, let's put all these away. Got some pig ears to feed the dogs still. Good, 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 good. Put all these away. You away. Okay, good. Good, and there's that mole digging, digging, digging. Okay, that is just a bit of grass. That is so good that we managed to see that little baby just splash in there in the water. All right, now what plant is this? The alliums. Very lovely little things. We'll collect these two. There we go, because this just looks kind of like what I would think we could make the cougar exhibit look like. So let's collect all of these. And all of you, and you, and you. Ooh. 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 Lily Tate! Mom has found a cave. It was a very disappointingly small cave. I'm not even going to let this cave keep my torch. It was that disappointingly small. Alright, there we go. 
And let's see, where to now? Ooh, look at that! Super duper rare blue and green roses! <gasps> of course they would be on the side. Oh, oh. Lily Tate, come on, come on, darlings. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's just making the botanist in me go nuts. <gasps> Ooh, mushrooms. Go nuts because they're so close and yet somewhat so far away. All right, let's climb up here. All right, Lily Tate, don't you guys worry. Mom just has to collect these super duper rare uncommon roses. Eh. There we go. Mom's not nuts climbing a cliff to try to reach rare rare flowers. Mom is mom is fine. This is normal. This is not obsessive behavior clinging to the side of a cliff and to get flowers. There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. And we've got some really rare roses now too. Okay, watch out. Oops. Ouch. And some maiden hair spleen wart. And then let us resume our search. Uh, I think we're gonna take a quick little snooze. Maybe down here, ironically enough. It's kinda it kind of feels a little bit secure. Let's get our bed out. A second bed that I have been smart enough to bring my dogs who stole my other bed. And we will just plunk ourselves down right here, take a quick snooze, and resume our search for our cougar. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it would be this hard to find. But the good news is we do have two other big cats. We have Lily? Lily? Dang it, Lily. Come. Lily, come. Lily, no. Look at her. She ran off with it. Lily, come. Come. Lily. Lily. Give. Give. You have three of my beds. You have taken three of my beds. No. Here. You get to hold you get to hold these elephant ear flowers. There. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe she stole three of my beds. No wonder they keep going missing. Lily's been stealing them. Oh, well at least we've got Lily. Lily. That's right. That's right. You look away in shame. Tate, come on. Are you stuck, boy? I think Tate's stuck. Hang on, boy. Hang on. Okay. Tate got stuck, Lily. Don't worry, it's nothing big. But yeah, we've got a baby cheetah. And we've got our... There you go, Tate, Tate. And we've got our... Um, white tiger. And we've got a new duck. And we've got a new dove. So this isn't a total bust as far as expeditions go. We've got a lot of wild carrots and other plants. Ooh, there we go. Oh, this is good. This is good. So there's a lion. Where we find a lion, we just may find a cougar, a.k.a. a lioness. Also, we're going to get this. This is a bee. Wonderful. All right, so we're actually going to catch this lion because we are getting ready to work on our lion exhibit in... Ms. We are going to repurpose Ms. into a wonderful, wonderful safari zone. That's what we're going to do, Lily and Tate. One second. In fact, I want you two to uh, sit, please. In fact, hang on. There you go. Lily, sit. Tate, sit. Stay. Mom's going to go catch that lion. Ouch! What is... Golly, get out of here. There. All right, now, without giving myself a heart attack... We are going to go catch this lion. All right, we'll go. We'll go like a little fish. Do 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 do. I got him. All right, but that's a good sign. Where there is a lion, there might be a lioness, which also counts as a cougar. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. I knew we were on the right path, my pup pups. I am not a pixel biologist for nothing. All right, let's put the lion away, along with these lily of the valleys. Yeah, we actually have a pretty good haul for today's adventure. Ah, oh, you guys you guys aren't hungry again. Tate, do you want to go swimming? I want to make sure you guys are having a good day, too. Lily, Lily's like, I don't want any zombie jerky, Mom. Okay, Lily, when you're hungry, I've got some pig's ears. All right, are you saying that there, there might be something up here? Let's see. Any lionesses, a.k.a. cougars. There's another lion. No way. Good job, Lily. Good job. All right, we're going to work our way over there. Ooh, there's lots of wild wild carrots, too, which is very good. Oh, my gosh, and there's, like, another cheetah. I wonder if that's, like, the mother of the cheetah we picked up. We'll figure it out. All right, we're going to pop over here. All right. I see I see another lion. We can catch him. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Gotcha. 
He didn't even know it got him. <laughs> and we'll put him away. So now we've got several male lions, but no, no cougars. But we're getting closer. And I got some Giants Club. I love it. And rare roses. We're going to have to make like a rare rose garden or something. Wow, look at that forest. That is so cool looking. All right, let's continue searching. This seems like a good area to be in, the Birchwood Forest, ironically. There's another male lion. What the heck? Okay, well, we're definitely getting enough lions for the lion exhibit. I guess that's going to be one of the things we work on next. I want this. And sneak up behind him. And... Oop, 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 oop. Ooh, good. He didn't get us. That was a little bit dangerous. It didn't go off the first couple times I clicked the buttons. That's always a risk with these safari nets. Risk of malfunction may mean you get eaten by a mysterious critter. All right, so, well, we found three male lions, which is usually the same place that you might find some lionesses, or, ooh, what are these? Come here, wolf willow. Wow, I don't think we have any of these yet. Two, three, four new plants. So lots of new plants that we haven't even gotten before, too. Um, Cougar is still eluding us. Let's climb down here, Lily and Tate. Can we climb down there? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, carefully. Ma. All right. Let's see. There's a sheep. Oh, here's a bone pile. We need to collect these so we can put them into our little dig site because it's so fun to let our, our friends dig up bones and fossils and open them up to see what's in there. All right, jump across this. Come on, Lily Tate. Don't get caught by that thing. Good job, dogs. I don't see anybody. It's oddly devoid of animal life over here. Oh, wait. Okay, we're getting into bear territory. That's not quite what we're looking for. We don't have a grizzly bear yet. We still need a grizzly bear, but now is not the time to work on that. Now is the time to find a cougar. I really didn't think it'd be this hard. Come on, Lily Tate. What biome are we starting to get into? Okay, we're edging into... Still in Birchwood Forest, according to this, so we'll see. Oh, look at that awesome striation right there. You can see several different sedimentary layers. That's fantastic. You can see the sand, the clay, the sand, the dirt, and the stone. That's really cool. Maybe we'll make like a sedentary layer uh, lesson place. All right. This is fun. We are in a new area. Oh, jeez. Did you see him? Ouch. Get him. Get him, dogs. Oops, Tate. I'm sorry, baby. Lordy. Am I getting attacked from all sides? Good job, Tate. Baby. Oh, my gosh. I'm shot in the eye. I stopped hitting because I was scared I was going to hurt Tate more. Here, Tate. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, my gosh. There's a cow dying. Hang on. I'm coming. Was that an Enderman? I just heard the weirdest things. Let's get this bee, too. Oh, my goodness. What a weird day. Okay. Well, and there's a cool crow swinging by. Man, get smacked in the face by that, that little rude dude skeleton. I can't wait till we work on our monster exhibits, though. That's going to be so fun. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Pay attention to where you're walking, Siri. You love plants so much, then don't let them hurt you. Oh, and I'm really hurt, actually. Lily Tate, I suppose this is a beautiful spot to stop and eat for a minute. As beautiful as any spot we may find. Lovely, wide, open world. Lots of sheep sheep, but no cougar. We might have to give up and go home soon, guys. Hmm. However, we got lots and lots of lions. We can start a lion pride, so that's always a good thing. Let's get a little bit more. I guess I should just nibble. Nibble some toast. <gasps> I just heard the roar of a big cat. Oh, it's a it's a cheetah. So close again. Cheetah or jaguar, depending on how we want to interpret those spots. So close and yet so far. All right, come on, you two. We'll do a little bit more exploring, and we'll see if we can catch ourselves a cougar. This has been a really productive day. Oh. Look, evidence of something eating! We are on the biological trail. You see right here? You can see somebody has been eating quite a bit of wool. Wow! Quite a bit of sheep. This has been a sheep slaughter in the area. So, was that the cougar? Or was that the uh, cheetah we just saw? Probably not, because the trail doesn't go this way. So let's see if we can find, at the end of this trail, some sort of predator. 
who has been eating all of the little sheep. Hmm. Hmm. Her. Oh, it's a tiger. So we found a tiger. Still not what we're looking for. We are finding a lot of big cats, but not a single cougar. Come on, Lily Tate. We're going to rock around this one, see if we can just kind of ignore it. Dang! So close. And there's a bunch of boars. Hmm. We're getting into a really interesting fragmented area, though. This is very interesting, because it's very, very fragmented and opens up into the ocean. I don't think I've ever been out here before. I think we're about to, like, bump up against the open ocean, actually. Oh my gosh, is this an island? I think this is a little island. Interesting. Wow. This is where all the sheep are because they think they're safe. They're like, oh, no predators on this island. Smart sheep. Smart sheep. Wow, there's a lot of strawberries, too. We'll pick some wild strawberries because they're delicious. It's the island of wild strawberries and sheep. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to put the evidence of a massacre of your kind in front of your face. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, dear. All right, and we'll pick this. Yeah, geisha greens and strawberries. There's a little little elephant. Huh. Well, I guess we could settle down here for the night, and then we'll give it one last little push to see... Lily Tate, don't you guys steal my bed? To see if we can find a cougar, but I can't believe I really thought it was going to be as easy as just like, tra-la-la, skipping into our backyard and finding a cougar. But no, we're really having to, to put some serious effort into this. We've found several new plants, several varieties of, look at that sheep dance, break dancing sheep, oh yeah. Several awesome animals, I mean, we've got a baby cheetah, we've got the lions, so we can start our lion pride now. Tate, back off. My bed, mine. <laughs> I have to defend my bed from my dogs, oh my goodness. Here you go, sheep. There you go. All right, and then let's just jump over here. This is a very interesting little island island zone that we've stumbled on. Gather up some of these ground cover pieces. Some of these bushes so we can decorate. Oh, hi! Yeah, you're a noisy one. There is a polar bear over there. So we'd probably have the best luck with what we're looking for this way. Lily, are you hungry yet? You have not yet eaten your, your share of the pig's ears. Tate, pardon me. I gotta feed your sister. Pardon me. There you go, Lily. I thought you'd be hungry by now. All right, let's swim over this way. Swim, 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 swim. <gasps> Look at these beautiful flowers. Oh, and there's moss. I love moss. Come here, you glorious moss. All right, and we've got these lovely tulip flowers, too. Wonderful. Just got to collect these. Oh, hello, little mouse. So there's some mice. There's another little elephant. There's some beautiful tulips. Hang on, little guy. Let me get these out of the way. Gonna collect this ground cover, because we can use- <gasps> Cougar! Yes! Oh my gosh! It's cougars everywhere. Cougars and lionesses. That's what we're going to call these. Okay, holy days. Hang on. Oh my gosh. It's growing up in front of our eyes. In you go. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, it's like, okay, we're gonna call one of these a cougar and the rest is a lion pride. We'll have to pick carefully. Wow. Well, that was, that was sheer luck. We literally just stumbled onto a whole pride of them. So, and we've even got some single use safari nets we can use. There we go. I think this is gonna be like the, the dude, the rude dude in charge. The one we just caught. All right, and then this one. Wow. I bet you're happy, Mr. Elephant. We just collected a whole bunch of, of predators that were, were kind of circling you rather hungrily. Okay, well, we definitely have enough big cats now. Remembering which is which is going to be a little bit interesting. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit interesting. I think this is going to be like the alpha cat, because that was one of the male lions. And then we're going to call one of the female lions that we caught a cougar, because that's how we roll. We put her into the cougar exhibit, surround her with relevant things, and the light lioness skin does look a lot like a cougar. So we're going to call her a cougar. Everybody else is going to be a lion. 
and a lioness, but we've got a lion pride ready. A lion pride, Lily. We're really going to have to go and spend a lot of time next week in the safari zone. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's just poke around here just a teensy bit more. I think we're still in this giant birch forest. Pretty sure this is like a Biomes XL birch forest, perhaps. And we'll see if there's anybody else. There's a lot of these beautiful flowers. I like these gladioli. And they stack, thank goodness. Oh, I like these trilliums. They're another one of my favorite forest plants. Are we full? We are full, though. All right, let's put these away. Put these away. We've got more, more of pretty much everything. <laughs> So we're doing great on our, oh, I forgot we had a whole extra spot to store things. So we're doing great on our queen bees. We're doing, oh, these gladioli don't stack. Get out of here, gladioli. There we go. Um, and we're doing great on our cats. Wow, that was a lot more cats than I, I thought we would find. Lots of strawberries, too. Lots of wild strawberries everywhere. That's kind of fun. We haven't harvested the ones in our garden in a while, but it's just fun when you know they're wild strawberries. <laughs> collecting so many of them. <laughs> Pockets full of delicious strawberries. And now let us look around. Just one last quick little check. Gather up these things. Get away, you evil. There we go. Lily of the Valley is cleaned up. Oh my gosh. And let's go check what that is. What? Oh, I think we have looped around, you guys. I think we have looped all the way around unintentionally to that mushroom forest that we found with sunflower and there is a puma oh my goodness there's two of them and we're gonna leave them though we, we know where to find them they will be here when we come back i bet oh my goodness yep we've looped all the way back around the mushroom forest <laughs> oh the mycelium i wanted mycelium for our experiments Oh, what a wonderful day, Tate! What a wonderful day! Okay, we're gonna gather up some mycelium because we can take this to Professor Cowplant when we reclone Professor Cowplant and get some cool mushroom experiment like experiments going down. I'm so excited. Just have to collect this very carefully with our silk touch pickaxe. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. I think we could make a little mushroom world. Instead of having just one mushroom exhibit, we could have multiple mushroom exhibits. But I'm pretty sure this is the mushroom forest that we discovered a while ago with the amazing sunflower. Oops, sorry about that, Tate. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we discovered this mushroom forest, which is covered in moss everywhere. Oh my gosh. With sunflower. Let me check. Mushroom Island. Fungi forest on... Fungi forest? Yep, this is the fungi forest we discovered with, with sunflowers, so we managed to walk all the way out there. So that's pretty darn amazing, if you ask me. And we get some moss. So much moss. Come here, moss. Oh my gosh. What a good day. What a good day, Mr. Pig. I wish I had... Oh, there's a random mushroom just right there. I wish I had, like, a carrot I could feed this pig just to celebrate how amazing today is full of mushrooms and beautiful flowers and we caught lots and lots of different animals tons of like tons of lions i did not expect to get that many lions we managed to get ourselves a cougar to add to our cougar exhibit and lots and lots of lions and it's just been a fantastic day overall so wonderful and i've got more moss come here moss yeah, always a plus oh my goodness i wonder if we should spend a little bit exploring this forest too we're really full up on all of our stuff though Ah, we are really full up on all of our stuff. All right, so let me think. Hmm. Put all these away. And put this away. You know what? We'll do it. We'll continue exploring the mushroom forest just for a little bit longer, and then we'll go home, and we will settle our... Because Lily and Tate seem to be having a good day. We're running out of food for them. So um, remember that pig I was saying we should feed celebratory carrots to? Um, my might be the celebratory pig instead oh i always feel bad when that happens but it's the cycle of life and wow i mean just freaking beautiful forest so i think what we'll do is we will gather up uh lillian tate we will just explore this forest on foot for a little while we never really catch a lot of the plants and the moss and things when we're on sunflower because we're always flying overhead instead of down here and we'll see if we can find any other awesome animals to shove into our safari nuts i think we've used almost all of them up though we have 
Yeah, we only have two empty safari nuts, so we'll have to think carefully. So I will see you guys in the morning, and we will continue our adventure, and then we will head home, and we will get our cougar settled, and once we have her settled in, I think we might spend a little bit of time over in the safari zone taking care of the lions. Oh, so exciting, Lily, so exciting. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye.